Today we're going to make a classic, pink gin. For this drink, you're going to need a Nick and Nora glass, a measuring cup, a Hawthorne strainer, a bar spoon, and a mixing glass. This drink uses gin, aromatic bitters, and that's it. This is the exact opposite of a stinger. It's a strong drink that's not for the faint of heart. If you don't like gin, or you're not used to the flavor, you may want to work your way up to this one. Just smelling it is hot enough to singe your nose hairs. It's like a dry martini without the vermouth. There's nothing to take the edge off. In fact, the bitters just put more edge on. This one's made to bond specifications. But if you wanted to do it classically, you'd make it with Plymouth Gin, and just rinse the glass with bitters. Dash the bitters directly in the glass, swirl it around to coat the inside, and discard the rest. Then add your chilled gin. That'll give it a much more pinkish hue. This one's not so pink. It's more like dark orange gin, or burnt sienna gin if you're into the whole Crayola naming thing. Because in the book Man with the Golden Gun, Bond stipulated two things for this drink. That it be made with beef eaters, and a lot of bitters. We'll start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure two ounces of gin, add that to the mixing glass, hit with about five dashes of aromatic bitters, add ice, and stir. You'll wanna stir this one for a good 30 to 40 seconds to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice from your Nick and Nora glass, then strain the contents of your shaker into your chilled glass. No need to garnish this one, it's served straight up. And there you have it, pink gin, just the way Bond likes it. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.